Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. You guys know how much I love the Fujifilm X100V as my daily dad cam. That thing comes with me everywhere and I'm just kind of documenting life with that camera. And I've made a couple of videos about that camera. You can check them out, I don't know, either here or here. TLDR is, that is my favorite camera of all time. take it with me everywhere that I go. Problem is, sometimes I like to shoot more professional events. I wanna shoot professional documentary video. I wanna shoot professional photos with some more bokeh. Just a tad bit nicer than what the X100V can offer me. And for that, I use my Canon system. Right now I'm using my Canon R5, and that's like my workhorse camera that I use for when I have to capture an event or something like that. The issue is, Canon color science is nice, but I prefer the Fujifilm color science over the Canons any day. I feel like the Fujifilm color science is just so natural, so filmic, so grainy. Something about the photos and the color simulations just appeal to me way more than a Canon camera's color sign. My ideal camera would be a professional camera like the R5 paired with the film simulation and the color science of Fujifilm. The X100V has an APS-C sensor which is a smaller sensor than full frame sensors like you find in the Canon R system. The APS-C sensor allows the camera to be small and compact, so I wouldn't necessarily exchange it for anything. The drawback of the smaller sensor is you have less bokeh and you can let in less light. The bokeh you can get from a 50 millimeter 1.2 lens off of an R5 is just incredible. It's a very distinct look that people naturally associate with professionalism. A couple of weeks ago, I discovered a set of presets you can purchase that can transform any camera into any other camera when it comes to color science. And this is from a website called Cobalt Imaging. Cobalt Imaging produces packs that allow you to match one camera to another in Lightroom. So I purchased these packs, and in this video, I'm gonna walk you through how to use them and my thoughts about the packs and whether or not you should purchase them too. All right, so now we're in front of my computer. Last week was my daughter's graduation. She graduated from kindergarten, my youngest one, and I took some photos of her the day of, and I'd like to edit them right now with the presets and see how they look. So let's go. All right, so now we're in front of these photos. Here's one that I took of her in the morning before the graduation started. The way to use the presets is they're, they're tied to a profile here. So they're actually not presets, they're profiles. You click on profiles and you can see, you can see GFX 100 Astia, GFX 100 Classic Chrome, Classic Negative, Nostalgic Negative, Pro Negative High, Provia, Velvia, and I also bought the X-Pro2 pack. So you can buy the GFX pack and the X-Pro2 pack. Here's the X-Pro2. Astia, Classic Chrome, Negative, Standard Negative, Provia, and Velvia. And I have to say, they look really nice. My favorite one for this particular picture is probably Astia. Uh, this is a good starting point. So what I would do is probably pick Astia, and you can see you can also change the amount. So this is basically nothing, and then you can apply it as you wish until you get a look that you like. And I would say I probably end it about, yeah, I mean, 100% looks fine for this one. And yeah, this is the before, after, before, after. I'd say that looks very close to Astia. And, um, you know, I don't have a Fujifilm camera that I shot it with to compare, but I think this did an excellent job. Uh, the next one, I already applied, I already applied the classic chrome look to it. So Astia Classic Chrome, and I'm going to, um, yeah, I think out of the box, this looks great. This is the before, this is the after. The before, after. This is the next one I have of her coming up the aisle. It's pretty blurry. I think I shot it at a 50th of a shutter speed, so it's not the sharpest photo, but I mean, I like it. <laughs> so what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna pick one that I think would look good here. Ooh, I like Classic Negative. I love the look of Classic Negative here. Uh, also, Nostalgic Negative looks great. Uh, Velvia, I think, is too, too much color for me in this photo. 
uh, yeah, you can see I'm cycling through all of the profiles and they look legit. I mean, they look pretty close to what you would get. I'm going to pick this one. Uh, Fujifilm GFX 100 Nostalgic Negative. And this is the before. This is the before and after. You can tell it's, it's a very subtle shift in tones of colors, um, which is what I like. I don't like presets that change the entire color of the image and make it into something so different. With these, the results are very subtle. The changes are very, very small. And that's what I like. I like small, subtle adjustments that make the photo look better, not a complete overhaul of the image. This is a great starting point for me to do an edit. This is GFX 100 Nostalgic Negative. This is the before. This is the after. Uh, here's a picture of my wife and my son. You know, they're just like hanging out after the event ended. This is the before. So here's what we have before we start anything. And let me cycle through them real quick. Here's Astia, Classic Chrome. This looks like Classic Chrome. I mean, if you know Classic Chrome is, is my favorite film simulation, and this looks exactly like it. They got the tones almost perfect with this one. Classic Negative, uh, Pro Negative High, Provia, Velvia. Velvia looks great too. It looks very nice and punchy, you know. Uh, here's uh, X-Pro2 Astia and X-Pro2 Classic Chrome. Uh, for this one, I'd probably go with Astia again. I just like the colors that come out of it. Yeah, I mean, this is already looking amazing. Just, just the way it is. Increase the exposure a little bit. This is the before from Cayman's raw file, and this is the after. Uh, Fujifilm's GFX 100 Astia. Here's a picture of my daughter and one of her friends after they graduated. And for this one, first we could do is increase the exposure because it's kind of low. This looks good. For the colors, I'm going to pick classic chrome for this one. And here's the before and after. And if I just change the exposure back to where it was so you can see the color shift, this is, look at the greens. Classic Chrome really affects the greens. Here, this is the before green, this is after. Before and after. And if you look at their faces, you can also see a slight shift in color tone in the skin tones. It desaturates them ever so slightly for that classic chrome look. All right, now that we're back, the colors definitely look legit. They are 95% identical. With the R5 pack to the Fujifilm system, you're getting 95% of the color of Fujifilm from any Canon RAW file, and that is incredible. With one click, you're able to go from a Canon RAW file into a Fujifilm film simulation of your choice and I think that that is amazing. I've been using this nonstop for the last couple of weeks now, and it's become just a regular part of my workflow. It's not something I'm ever gonna not use in the future. The main drawback of this though is that this only works per camera. So right now I have a Canon R5. If I were to buy an R7 or a different Canon camera, this would not work. It's only tied to your one camera. If you try to use the preset on a different camera system or a picture that came out of a different camera, it'll simply not even show you the presets at all. It won't even load them. So that's kind of a bummer in that you're kind of tied to one camera with these presets. I kind of think that that's actually a good thing because it will keep me from hopping different camera bodies over the years and just keep me with one. If what I have now can get the job done and the colors are great, then why think about switching camera bodies at all? That's like the only drawback I think of this system is that you really are stuck with one camera body and if you wanna buy another camera, you're gonna to have to buy all new presets for the camera and it could get quite expensive over the years. But if you love the color of one system like Fujifilm, you can buy a Sony camera, you can buy a Leica, you can buy whatever you want, a Canon Nikon, and get that look with one click and I think that's a really powerful thing. Now Cobalt Imaging did not sponsor this video I have gotten zero sponsors on my channel yet, but I just felt like this product is something that I absolutely love and I use every day, and it's something that I wanted to let everybody else know about as well. Thank you guys so much for watching. I know this video was a short one, but it was just something that I feel like I wanted to let everybody know about. 
uh, please subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet for more photography-related content, and I will see you in the next one. Peace.